Hey guys, what's going on? While I'm gaming here, back with another Minecraft Let's Play. <clears throat> Today we're gonna sort of continue where we left off, except I've made quite a few changes to my house. Um, so yeah, you guys are gonna really like it. Um, I actually extremely like the changes. They look really nice. To I think they bring out. Um, well, we'll just kind of have to show you. But I'm trying to find a good angle where I remember you can see the house from. Um, so here's the house. Um, yeah, it's made out all of wood. I have got every single resource in this house, um, all without inventory editing or anything. This world will have no inventory editing whatsoever. However, I did install a mod, and this mod was the last one on the Yogg's cast. It's called Equivalent. I'm not sure what it's called, actually. I forget, uh, but it's something like Equivalent e here, hold on. I'm going to pause the video and I'm just going to go find that real quick because that's kind of embarrassing. I said I installed a mod, but I didn't remember the name. So I'll be right back. It's called Equivalent Exchange, and basically, <clears throat> there is tons of different things that you can do with this mod. Um, this mod, in no way or shape or form, is hacking. Actually, it's quite the opposite. Um, they actually make you want to get items, like... For instance, you can make a, I think it's like a something chest, it's like a extremely big chest. I don't, I'm not familiar with all the names, but it's basically double the size of a double chest, and it's a single chest. I think it's called an alchemist chest, and you can um, convert things. So that's basically what this one is, uh, this mod is about. For instance, if I were to put um, two stacks of 64 cobblestone in there, it would convert... I think it's, um, how much is it? I think it's maybe seven or eight of the cobblestone into one redstone. And then four of the redstone, <clears throat> excuse me, f uh, seven iron into four gold, um, one diamond, or seven gold into one diamond or something. So, it, like, basically, if you go mining, um, you can change um, your unwanted cobblestone into stuff that you actually can use but it's not hacking because you actually have to mine that cobblestone so this is my house um, if you guys didn't know I am um, put I have a tree in the middle of my house <laughs> and that's gonna sort of be used as like the elevator system or the um, stair system I guess so yeah this is what my house looks like right now um, so today we're going to be doing is building our mine because we need to get a few um, materials to actually start with the um, to start the mod because you need um, supplies to begin with to start the mod so we're just going to plop down a chest there and throw all our stuff in here that we don't really need all right now let's go ahead and start mining do i have enough of everything should be good, yeah. Okay, oh, wow. We do need ladders. That would be helpful. Okay. And we'll just take those. Just make 64. And we'll make two stacks of 64. And then we will... make our ladders. Sweet. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to see how many more we can make. Should be good. Okay. Um, then let's just put this away. Let's go. Oh, we should probably go to bed. I am playing on peaceful once again. This bed is occupied. What does that mean? Whatever. Okay, so I kind of wanted to make a, I wanted to make the mine like right by our house. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to make it right here. And I know you guys are probably like, don't dig straight down. But what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to be holding shift if I ever do fall down. So I won't actually um, 
you know, fall down all that far. And every once in a while, I might just dig over. But um, this is how I'm going to do it. So I might die, but you know what? It's worth it if I do um, because I'm making a straight down mine, which is going to be awesome. Another thing I need to do is check and see. Come up, let's see here. F and F3. Just check down here. See what we can see. Obviously, we're unpeaceful. Okay, so I guess we're not going to be seeing any monsters. Um, yeah, this does kind of scare me though. Let's see what level we're on. F and F3. We're on. Seven or 67 Y or 66 so we need to go down quite a little bit actually so I'm just gonna keep this whoops I'm just gonna keep this F3 on for now I know I'm gonna fall but you know whatever And, um, so yeah, definitely I'm going to keep all this cobblestone that I get because now it can actually be used. But the first thing that we're going to need to actually get is some redstone, um, and I believe maybe glowstone. Not sure. Another thing you can do with this mod is really cool. Um, you can actually convert things. For instance, if you wanted diamonds, uh, if you had a lot of diamonds for some reason and you wanted gold, you could actually convert the gold in, or the diamonds into gold, which is really cool. I really recommend you guys go check out the Yogg's cast um, video on it because it did help me out a lot. And wow, we need to go make more ladders. So yeah, this is going to be um, my mine from now on. So... I want to have a trap door above it as well. I'm gonna go make one of those real quick. But yeah, I like my house a lot actually. Like, I don't know, I like it because I haven't actually ever made a house out of all regular piece of wood. So this is kind of an experience, I guess. And let's see how many we can make. So yeah, I spent about 30 minutes of my day, like my act, like actual time, um, getting regular wood. So yeah, that was an experience because it took forever. Okay, 28 more. That should get us down pretty far. Oh, you know what I forgot? The trapdoor. Wow. Okay. Guess for another time. But eventually I want to make this like really nice and like take the time to like make all the sides smooth stone and stuff. Because so I am going to be using this quite a lot. Oh! Did not mean to do that. God dang it. And I forgot torches as well. Hmm. I did need iron though. That was really good because I really did need iron. I didn't have any before. And now I can make a whole bunch of things. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go back up real quick. And oh, you know what? I don't have any I don't have any coal. Hmm. We're going to we're going to have to go on a hunt for coal. So I'll see you guys at the top. So we're at the top, I'm just going to go throw this cobble in this so I don't lose it in the iron. Now we need to go get a few pieces of coal. Where to find coal? Um, whoops, where to find coal, where to find coal? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Coal under here? No. Oh my goodness, iron. Sweet. Never seen iron just like exposed like this, like out in the open, but hmm. It's a weird little cave. Okay. 
Okay, why can't I find any gold? Oh, there's some clay. Out front. Okay. Really, why can't I find any gold? Ah. Okay. So, I guess we're on a hunt for coal, which turned into, I guess, our mission to make a... Uh, mine turned into a hunt to find coal, but, you know, whatever. So I know that my house is behind me. And the good thing about making videos is that if you ever did lose your house, you could just go right back and replay the footage. And you could find your house. Okay, there should be coal in a place like that. But my luck, there isn't. Goodness, really? Come on. I really need to find coal. Why? Hmm. There's some reeds over there. That's something to note. There's some reeds over there. If I'm ever asking, looking for reeds and I can't find them, Leave a comment below saying, I saw one in episode, you know, what is this, 50, 56, 55? I'm not sure. But say, just say, like, look back at that episode, because that would help me tremendously. Because hit when you know where, you know you've seen something, but you don't really remember where you've seen it at. Those are, those are the worst. Okay. I'm going to find this, like I really am. Okay, you know what, guys? I do not want you to, to bore you guys, so, you know, I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back when I find it, uh, when I find the coal. So, I'll be right back. So, we are located probably, well, that's where we were last time, so I walked over here. Sure enough, here's some coal. So, hopefully, it's more than two pieces. Sweet. Thank God. This should get us through... The beginning of mining until we actually find some coal down um, in our mine, but this should get us through definitely. Um, so yeah, there's also some really cool things you can make in this as well. Uh, for instance, I believe oh, there's there's ways to make slime balls and stuff. Like you can make use things to make other things. It's like a really advanced sort of mod. I did not mean to do that, that um, they put together, and I don't know, I just kind of like these mods that makes you think, like, you can go back to the the forum for the actual mod, and you'll find new things, like, every time, and this is one of the mods, because there's thousands of recipes that you can do, and most of the recipes are, like, the, um, the recipes that it doesn't matter where you actually put the item, for instance, if you were to make, you know, I don't know, a dye. You know, you can put the dye anywhere and the wool anywhere and it will make the wool. Well, that's sort of like the um, types of recipes that this mod uses. And I like that because then you don't have to like know every single one by heart. You can just kind of guess. And if you find one, I guess, then, well, it won't be that hard to find, I guess. Which I believe all mods should have because the mods, some of the mods are really intricate sort of, I don't know, intricate, like, ways of making everything, and it does get confusing to people that have never used the mod, like, if you just started playing Minecraft, and, um, you, know, you didn't even know how to make the workbench, that's sort of what it's like every time you install a new mod, um, you know, people have no idea, um, how your mod works, or how your, yeah, how your mod works, so, just a little note, if you are a mod designer, I know, I think I actually have one subscriber who said he is, um, please make your mods, like, usable, right, Use, user-friendly, that's the word. Okay, I always like to just explore these caves and light them up because eventually I will be doing a mob spawner. But, I hope this isn't true, guys, but in 1.8, I have heard... Oh, I've heard that we're going to have to 
What is going on? I froze. Oh, we're going to have to remake the world, which is going to suck, but I don't I, I don't think it's true. Like some of these people, like Ethos Lab, for instance, his world has been going on forever and he has such a good world. He spent countless hours on that world. And you know, if Notch really had the guts to like say, you know what, you're going to have to start you're going to have to stop your world redo that, uh, all that stuff you just did, you know, it's gone to waste because it, we're not going to allow it in 1.8. You know, I don't think that's true, but if it is, it's going to sort of ruin this series. Oh, it's going to ruin what we started here, which is really bad because I actually really like this world. And wow, this is a big cave. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Goodness gracious, this is a huge world. Okay, so, so it looks like we're just going to... Take this stuff. And we can always use mushrooms as well. This is going to be a long let's play because I didn't, um, get iron. I didn't, um, really plan on making any more, um, this week. I don't plan on making any more this week. So, yeah. I'm just going to make this one a really nice and long, maybe even 30 minute one. Okay. So, I know this is probably really boring caving, but it's got to be done. And you people that make videos know what I mean. Oh my goodness, gold. Gold, 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 gold. Have to get over to the gold. Have to, have to, have to. Iron. I know I'm being a baby and doing it on easy, but holy crap. This is like a ginormous cave. Oh man, there's tons of more mushrooms. I'm gonna leave one mushroom here and see if that mushroom spreads. It's back to where we were. Wow, I missed that. There we go. Don't tell me. Oh my god. That's crazy. But I have to go investigate because I like to investigate things. Yeah, so we're getting starting off the world nice with a bunch of resources. Always like to have that, but hopefully I brought no, I'm going to have to surface here in a second. Surface. I'm going to have to go back up and get some more wood and supplies to make more torches. I know I already got like a ton of coal, so that won't be a problem anymore. It's always a problem in the beginning, but then when you start mining, it's never a problem. Oh my goodness, does this go all the way back? Oh wow. Wow. I don't know if you guys saw that, but... I'm just gonna take these iron pieces here, because I'll probably never go back here again until I start cave hunting for places monsters can spawn. Sure, I don't have anything. Okay, yeah, time to go back. And I'll just pick out all the resources I can find on the way back. So I will be back, guys, at the surface, and I will have a little bit more resources as well because I'm going to finish picking all this stuff out. And I will be back up at the top ready to dig deeper for our mine. So I will be right back, guys. First score. Um, while I was looking, um, actually, I found this, and this is really, really cool because I actually did bring sand, so we can actually try to get this. So, it's actually not that hard to do.
because what we're going to be using is sand and cobblestone to make sure we actually get this. So I'm going to just cover up all this lava here. And we found our first or our our first thing that we needed to get. Oh, but you know what? We can't get it right now because I do not have a iron pick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this somehow. I don't know how I'm going to mark it, but I am. Okay, so I'll be back, guys. And when I do, we will come back down here and get that diamond. First diamond, guys. So I'll be right back once again. Yes, don't you love when you find something good? So I found a, mobs, mon uh, found a monster spawner as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this somehow. You know, something like that. And that'll tell me that there's a monster spawner down there. So once again, I'll be back. I'm just exploring the cave right now. So I'm just kind of finding some new things. And I'll just kind of come back in when I find something cool enough to show you guys. But yeah. So I'll see you guys back with another update or it maybe I'll even be on the surface when I show you guys so I'll be back back on the surface and I'll show you the damage that I took out of that cave I got about a stack um, of coal 11 mushrooms and 42 iron so I'm gonna get to cooking this um, now I can actually use some coal to cook this and I also I'm just gonna bring down some of that and we need about, let's take about half that as well. And we should be good to go back down there. I'm going to do a little bit more exploring as well. Uh, because I need, I just need to find uh, a lot more stuff in that cave. There's so much more stuff that I can find. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so that's good, and we'll just throw these mushrooms in there. We should be good to go. Just take half of those crafting table, and this should be good. Okay, so I am going to go back down there now. Okay, and another thing I wanted to do do this all the way down there so I can actually see. So I'll be back with this all worked out and yeah, so I'll be back. So big news. Um, yeah, I've been searching this cave probably an hour and a half maybe. Um, this cave keeps leading on to other caves. So I keep exploring um, I think I'm at four stacks of coal now. Just about four stacks of coal now. And I have a lot of iron. I'm going to explore it all, but um, I'm afraid of getting lost. And that would really suck if I did get lost. So I might actually need to go back and look at the Y coordinates again. Or the X and Y coordinates in this thing. So I don't get lost. Or so that I, so that I can find my way back. I ever did get lost um but yeah uh, another announcement announcement I call it an announcement but it's really not uh, I found my second dungeon which is really cool so I'm going to be harvesting all of this moss cobblestone or mossy cobblestone and yeah that's just about it let's see what's in the chest um, two iron ingots a saddle redstone wheat cocoa beans and string so that's what was in the chest, and I'm just going to keep harvesting, guys. This is really a really lengthy process, so if if I don't, if I like come back and I have like four stacks of iron, it's because I've been harvesting or trying to clear out this whole entire area, and it is very, 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 very big. Um, just a little gap in the hole led me to this huge place. Um, and that was just one of the places that I've actually been. So it's like a cave within a cave within a cave, which is like 
really hard to um, describe, but yeah, so I will see you guys when I have completed, hopefully completed, um, clearing this out.